After a series of delays, Grand Theft Auto V is finally available for PC. Hello everyone, I am Andrew Reiner. This is Game Informer's Test Chamber. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the new features in this version of the game. Today, playing it, uh, story mode at least, is Elise Favis. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. We got John Gregory here. Hello. And Matt Burtz. Hello, Reiner. How's it going, man? It's good. Uh, so we're early in the game. This is Franklin, uh, if you're not familiar with Grand Theft Auto V's story. He's one of three playable characters. And uh, we're just taking a look at the graphics, the visuals, very stunning. We're not looking at this in 4K. Uh, I believe we're around probably the 1080p range here. And uh, Elise, you've played a little bit of it so far. What do you think? What do you think of the PC version? Um, it's honestly, it's really stunning in terms of graphics. Uh, I've tried a little bit of the video editor as well. Me and John just earlier were trying to figure it out. Seems cool. I think there's definitely some potential. And I, I saw um, one of the first user-made videos with the editor. Um, it looked really awesome. And we will jump into that here in a little bit. Uh, Matt Burtz, I've played through this game twice now. Uh, once on, I guess, last gen, we call it now, and then current gen on, on PS4 with first person. What about you? Are you itching to get back to this? Yeah, you know, like this is actually making me really sad and making me think about my financial decision making <laughs> because uh, my PC is 32 bit, so it can't rock with this. So that's on my to do list uh, upgrading because, you know, the draw for this for me is it's not just the enhanced graphics, the custom soundtracks, the Rockstar editor. Uh, the thing that's going to sell this game for a lot of people, I think, is going to be the mods that start coming out. Right. You know, in the next year or two, uh, the GTA 4 mods were. Absolutely fantastic. Yes. And it has me thinking I should get a 4K computer and TV dis or some kind of display. Yeah, so are you going to sell your firstborn? Or are you going to sell a <laughs> kidney? Or like, what's your strategy uh, there? A lot of blood. Uh, it's just draining into All a bucket underneath my chair right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, and then you have like The Witcher coming soon. That's going to be 4K as well. So that you're, you're starting to see this 4K explosion. And yeah, you're starting Metro, with, Metro Last Light. Yeah, and you're starting mm -hmm. with one of the best games here too. Like, just such a centerpiece of... of the games I like, so uh, yeah, it's I, I'm definitely right there with you. Thinking uh, I should figure out how to get like three to four thousand dollars to get a PC to be able to play this game, and it has uh, first person perspective. If you want to go back into that, sure. uh, so it has all the bells and whistles from the new console versions, which came out earlier. Was it there? No, it was last year, late last year. I just went into a cutscene here. Oh, that's okay. Let me show off some of the story mode here. Okay, and it's so extensive. This, this world is gigantic. We'll show the map here in a little bit. Uh, assuming some of you on the PC end haven't played this game yet. I know it, how many copies have they sold? 26 million or even more than that? It's ridiculous, right? I haven't actually played this yet. I've been waiting. What are you very doing, man? <laughs> waiting <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. 45 yeah, you, million you, units shipped. He plays on PC <laughs> primarily. Yeah. So. You've been waiting. Five million. It's ridiculous. And, that, and now it's reaching a whole nother audience again. That's amazing. Hopefully, not as much broken in this PC port. Um, once people get into, you know, digging into it. What are you referencing wow. as broken? The, the uh, last one or four? Yeah, first. four was really a really messy PC port. At the at the very least, this seems like a better PC port overall from the start. Um, yeah, lots of we different actually options. we talked to them about that. Uh, they kind of figured it out with Max Payne 3, the, the process they, that they used to uh, bring the game over. The whole staff that works on, or the, the leadership staff that worked on GTA 5 for both old gen and current gen worked on this for the last several months to make sure that not only is it up to par with the regular GTA experience, but that they're kind of working with PC to leverage that power in new and interesting ways. So you, you'll see like uh, the draw distance is better in this than it is in the other versions. Obviously the resolution can be a lot better. You have a lot of uh, stuff in the menus to kind of tweak your experience. Yeah. Yeah, let's, ta let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, I know menus aren't the most exciting thing, but for, for PC players or people that want to kind of see the options here. So you can do keyboard and mouse, obviously key bindings. Yeah, and then graphics, you got your uh, aspect ratio, resolutions, all sorts of stuff for you to play with. And they've even got things like... Um if you scroll down a little bit more, you've got... Or go to advanced. There we go. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I think a lot of the graphics options are actually in... Um, in the other one? In graphics, yeah. Um, but I like that they have the video memory up at the top, which is a really nice feature that more games need so that you know how much you have to work with. 
Yeah, that is nice. Mm. Um, and then, you know, if you go back to the normal graphics and like scroll down um, more, no, like go back oh, to Oh, you the, mean here? Yeah. yeah. And then like All scroll right. down more. They've got like crazy things like anti aliasing for um, the reflections mm-hmm. and like really, you know, like down to the minuscule details like grass quality as opposed to you know, <laughs> just regular like every piece of vegetation kind wow. of stuff. So. And you can use that. Well, let's go ahead and uh, start recording something and drive drive like a maniac. All right. And um, we're going to go into let's the see, video editor this. here. So you can start recording by pressing down on the D-pad and then pressing A. And we have a 360 controller hooked up. Uh, that's what yeah, we're playing that's, with. that's right. All right, so we're recording. You can see it's it's kind Side of walk. Uh, you don't get a <laughs> unlimited amount of recording time. It's what yeah. about thirty seconds or so. And I think you have to record at least three seconds for it to sidewalk. Uh, you want me to go on the sidewalk? Yes. Fine, fine. Just grab the dog and drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Beep beep! Ah, right in the butt. All right, that was a good recording. A good way to end that. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor. But well, we can go into the editor now, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, and with that, you- uh, I might have to be uh, out of combat. Really? Hi. So I you can't be in a get out of you can't be in a maybe. fail state, maybe. Well, this should be able to do it then from the, the yeah, hospital, yeah. right? That's interesting. But you do get that stuff saved. So once it goes for that thirty seconds or whatever, you do. Yeah, like it. you could see in the bottom corner, the little circle was spinning around. Hmm, director mode is not available while you're on a mission. There you go. Okay, ah. and you can quit the mission there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going into the Rockstar Editor here, and uh, we're going to load up one of your clips. Go ahead and pick one. Create a new project. Yep. Add a clip. Here we got all our clips that we've done. Is that the one where you fall on your face? I kind of want to see that happen. <laughs> the 15 one? Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, take that one. All right. Um... Edit. Edit. Yeah. And this is only in the PC version. If you play it on console, you can load up your character for uh, Grand Theft Auto Online yeah. um, into the PC version. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they have all sorts of different things. Like we saw the graphic slider. There's like a pedestrian slider, stuff like that, um, you that you can change the, the density of <laughs> life in the world. <laughs> nice. So that's um, a nice little thing. So we can you can go in here, alter effects, audio, the speed. Uh, again, if you're uh, tweaking the the graphics, you can have a better a different look there. Okay, John is is finding the perfect <laughs> frame here. Um, I haven't quite figured this out yet. It's uh it's actually got a whole lot of features um, that we haven't had a whole lot of time to um, get in and mess around with. But you do have um, audio. I think you can put in. Um, you can obviously change the like level, and you can go put in your own. Uh, audio tracks and there's filters as well yeah crazy <laughs> crazy filters i think they added more yeah just start going nuts with this more filters or go gonzo <laughs> um and shake we got some nice camera shake which which works there's a great lot of go off the game editor. cam let's see what else is there um let's see I'm just like oh that's awesome oh so you can actually go so i can like change I could the go depth I could go like here, and then um, he would play. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, every time you put one of these little points down here, um, it changes the camera around. Um, so, and then uh, scrub is just how you move, yeah, how yeah. quickly you move in in your kind of timeline there. Um, but if I add a marker here, I can then it opens up the editor for that marker, and I could go in and. and um, like set this camera here that just looks at you know Frank from the front. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you could spend hours and hours yeah, and yeah. hours of your life just making recordings and going in and tweaking them. I don't know how many you can store. I guess that's probably dependent on your your hardware, right? Yeah. Um, I think when we looked in the settings, there's an actual like readout of how much space you have left that's allocated for that. For that, just for the yeah, video, yeah. then okay. And it's got uh, you can push right to YouTube and Rockstar Social Network yep. too. The social and club. It even has like quality settings in the like settings menu for that. Um, What's the anchor? Um, I don't know. Sure. We haven't tried that. Turn it on. An anchor point will show. Okay. Oh, it just shows you like where in the clip you are at. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's that's the editor, an awesome addition that's only in the PC version. And uh, let's jump back out into the world. <laughs> God, their attention to detail. Yeah, okay, you ready? Amazing. Oh, <laughs> God. That's Jesus. awesome. Disgusting. <laughs> All right. Let's go. This is a great opportunity. <laughs> this is going to be a great video. <laughs> she has been doing that a long time, I think. Uh, let's go into the video editor <laughs> and show off the director mode, actually, uh, and show off kind of what you can do here. This is pretty cool, actually. This is a new thing, too, um, where... You get to pick uh, who you're bringing out, and they have a wide variety of stuff you could pick from. Animals, we don't have any unlocked yet. I think you might have to get the peyote to do that. I don't know. Um, or you just unlock them through story mode. We're not sure yet. But there's clowns, mimes. Pogo the space monkey! Yeah, check out Pogo the space <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> it's great. Uh, so, familiar character for the series. Also, you find him on, uh, what is that, Sunset? Um, in front of the theater or whatever. Yep. Uh... Okay, so so we got a monkey now. He's a badass. He's got a lot of weapons. And go ahead and just start recording. And this this goes right back into the editor then. Oh, no, he can't. He can't. The use actor weapons. cannot use weapons. No, the clown had weapons. That's odd. This actor, this actor cannot enter vehicles. So this I guess he just gets to actor. walk around. So that's something to experiment with too. Is you get different functionality. I'm sure the animals probably form the same way they did in the. Uh, uh, Come here. Do that. Yeah. The same way they did with the peyote missions. Or little bonus, the hidden bonus in, in the last, or uh, the PS4 and Xbox One version. And now let's uh, let's back out of this and then just go into show off online a little bit. We'll see how many people are playing. I'm sure their servers are getting slammed again. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it works all right. So uh, we have our character on the left over here. Oh, wow. Created. We're in the same suit Matt Burtz is wearing right now. Mm hmm. Yep. Uncanny resemblance. <laughs> Jeez. No. Just my Wednesday style. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, this is our representation of Ben Hansen. Okay. I mm -hmm. like it. I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully this works. You never know on day one, right? You'll see if it melts. I know there's it's been a... It's a crapshoot for most games. Yeah. I know there's been a weird problem with like... Um, if your computer like login like for Windows or whatever has like a strange character in it or like a not like alphanumerical character in it, like the game just doesn't work. Huh. And they're like, they're like, go create a new like thing on your computer so that you can play the game for now Weird. until we fix it. Okay. Well, they are actively fixing it then. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've ad they've addressed it at least, but that was uh, a weird thing. So you never know what's gonna you know pop up. Right, and online is 30 players. You can have two spectators on top of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 60 frames per second. I don't know if that remains true online, but that is the core game can run at 60 mm -hmm. frames. All right, so we didn't wait too long there. It was probably another 15 seconds. No. Uh, so we got uh, eight people here, it looks like. Yeah. Public game. We'll go get in some trouble. There's a race right behind you. Hmm, yes. I'm not See sure if, if anybody's uh, interested. Yeah, I'm not sure if you need a vehicle for that or if you get to start it. No, I, think I do not remember. Yeah, yeah. It says you have to walk on it uh, by foot. Yep. <clears throat> Interesting facial hair on your guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, we went through, He's got uh, like skin rashes. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there's one new radio station in the game. Uh, oh, there's actually two new radio stations. The Lab there's, FM. You get the Lab and FM, but there's also Self Radio. So this is kind of cool. You can integrate your own music into it, and there's already DJs that are in the game that will kind of create bumpers and talk at oh, the awesome. station breaks. Yeah, it's really cool. So if you've held out on getting uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, up until this point, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, this is probably the version to get if you have a PC that can run it, if you have a brand new PC. You're being a fool for not for not investigating this game, uh, especially if you got 4K. I'm sure it looks absolutely stunning. And it is scalable. I mean, you, if you have a modest rig, you'll be able to run this. Yeah, I think the um, the minimum or the recommended specs were like a 660. Yeah. So it's uh, you know definitely um, not you know a super duper taxing game at its normal level. Man, you really worked with the skin there. Yeah, that character face. You did. <laughs> I don't think anybody actually joined me in this race, unfortunately. It's supposed to have matchmaking, but maybe that's still a little bit. Wonky. Yeah, it's day one. Yeah, uh, but it. we'll take off here, and uh, as you start cruising, we're gonna uh, call it a day here. But this is Grand Theft Auto Five on PC. 
the third iteration of this game, and, and each one has been worth revisiting. Uh, Rockstar definitely knows what they're doing, especially with uh, when it comes to the new content and making it meaningful. Uh, and also, they staggered enough where I start itching to want to get back into it. So thank you, Mr. Burtz, for joining us. Of course. John and Elise. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for, for your input and playing the game, and uh, we'll see you next time on Test Chamber.